Okay, as you can see, we got a big cellar hall right behind that maple tree, right? Right there, there's the well. Right where that tree's falling down over there, I think is the barn. I think they had a cellar under the barn. Over there I found this axe head and a horse bit. And Glenn found a buckle over there. And then over here by the house he found some wrapped up lead and a harmonica reed. And then he just pulled out, look at that, a sweet buckle, or button. That's nice. That's got four things on the front of it, doesn't it? It's like a little cross in the mail. It might be religious. Uh, I'm, yeah, I just bitched about people filming with their gloves on. <laughs> What's your take on it? Just a nice oval button? Just a fancy oval button. It'll clean her up. Uh, might be some writing on the back she here. You got the stud yet? No, no. no stud. Bust it off back, but when we got a uh, when we got between the barn and the house, we started seeing some holes. Somebody was here about a month ago. Beat us to it. I've known this place is here since last spring on, or winter. And we finally hit it, and somebody beat us to it by about a month. But they missed a button. Maybe you'll find some more. If not, onto the cornfields. Keep digging. Keep your machine down yeah walking down you can clearly see this roadway right here went right to that house we was at we're headed back to the truck solid 81 82 button or er, signal nice brass buckle right in the middle of the roadway glenn says he thinks there might be something else according to his machine so we're gonna see if the rest of it's there let me move the shovel out of the way here a little bit she's clean She's clean. Yeah, I guess that's just a shovel. I was hitting both ends of that buckle is what I was doing. Yeah. That's sweet. Hey, hey. Nice. I got something nice other than axe and bride. I got something other than iron. Keep digging. Maybe we'll find more between here in the truck. Got a ways to go. Okay, looks like maybe payday. Was ringing up a 77 on the AT Gold. What do we got here? You know, I just was bitching to Glenn about people cleaning coins off of their gloves. But I got too many gloves on to take off. I think I might have my first Indian head penny. I can't ooh, tell. Ooh. I can't tell. Can you see what that is? Yeah, I see one cent on the back. I just got my first Indian head penny. This is this. is I'm going to call this first field. I find a lot of my first cent here. See one cent right in the center. Yeah, that's an Indian head just from the one cent on the back. Yeah. You got it. You got oh, it I see the top of her head. You see the feathers you can. When you oh, get uh, cleaned up a little more. We're gonna give her a car wash here. Awesome, Dwayne. Kicking ass and taking names. 1883. Sweet. Nice. That's a good shape. Not bad. Payday. We've been we've been going since seven o'clock this morning, and it's what like three in the afternoon. We finally got coin. I'm back in the field. I've been hunting the last two weekends. We come back here because we knew we'd find stuff here. Keep digging. Ooh, that's better than the okay. coin, Dwayne. What do we got? Solid eighty-five. What in the hole? Oh, what in the hole? Glenn says he thinks it's a token. I cheated. I had to pick he it up. He peeked. What do we got? Hey, I'm gonna rub it very gently. <laughs> no, I don't. Two cents. I'm gonna brush her off a little bit lightly, and I'll be right back. Okay. It says National Debt Check Company Incorporated Deposit Check Patented for Discount Not Transferable to It's two cent token. Citizens Trust Company of Utica, New York will credit something 
in an alternate account subject to ensure this credit is and I can't make it out but the date this is October 1st 1919 we're talking World War One era bank token I'm gonna have to do the happy dance for that one and that's the oldest piece of aluminum I've ever seen yeah that, that ain't silver that's really light I'd say that's aluminum that is that's fucking that's freaking awesome. That's going to have to go in a good coin can. Oh, yeah, keep digging. But that's okay. Okay, we got a 7980 signal here. And I got roundness in the shovel. I'm only 20 feet from that token. I am on a roll today. What that's do we got? Large. It's a largey. Is it a button? That might be a button. It's awful thin. I see. I think I see something in the back. Hold on a second. You know, if I didn't have three gloves on, I'd take my glove off. It's a... Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Okay, the excitement level come down a little bit. It's not another George Washington. It's like the same eagle, but it says half penny. What did I say? 1814? 1814, and the back is really nice shape. Lady Britannia on it. But I don't know. Awesome. It's real thin, like like a counterfeit copper. My hands are shaking. It's cold. It's only like about 38 degrees up here. It'll be snowing before we're done today. Okay, awesome find number three for the field. Keep Within digging. An hour. Okay, Glenn says he's got big round greenness. I can round it over. Yeah, see my boot? Big round greenness, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn's got our little round greenness here. We don't know if it's blotting. It's just sitting on the surface. I'm gonna let him pluck it. Go ahead and see what you got there. Button. Ooh, nice shake. Nice little green button. He's found two or three of them so far. Flat button, nice shape, good thick shank on it. Yeah, I got about three or four today. One at the other site, and I think this is my third one here. Yeah, there you go. Keep digging. Thought it was yeah. a coin, it was green. Yeah. Glenn just got himself an engine. It's one of them thick ones. Can't pull a date off it. I think it's a little thicker than mine. I know some years they were the earlier ones were a little thicker. Runs on the board with coinage. Yeah. Working our way back to the truck to warm up and head to another field. Keep digging. Alright, we're working our way to the truck here to go hit another field. I mean, the truck's right there. Two rows of corn over, and I pull out another bell just like the one I found last week. And that one was right over there a few rows. This one's still got the little hanger on the top. I bet that one rings too. Sweet. Come up as a 5760 on the AT Gold. That's probably uh, it's either Shooter or Tombag. Yeah. Nice. Keep digging. Okay, here's a quick wrap up of my finds for today. I found my first axe head. I found a pickaxe, I found a horse bridle, first one of them I found. I did find one of these pieces last week in a different place. My arch nemesis, I don't know if anybody else there found these, I've done them in other videos. These are mowing machine knives, I found five today. When I got to three my cousin told me if I got five he'd buy me dinner, but I told him another time. An iron buckle, two brass buckles. I found a pocket knife. I believe this is a manifold to an old milking machine. These are what we call beavers, the old pull tab. Uh, 20 gauge slug, a piece of melted aluminum. Not the good stuff. Yet, another ringer sleigh bell. This was just a little bit, a little ways from where I found that one last week. This has still got the pin it. Held it somehow. I found a flat button. 
It might be writing on the back, I don't know, there's like a wreath around there. This is like a, a thumb screw of some sort, it's threaded in there and it's gnarled around the edge. Uh, surface fine porcelain button. Uh, I believe this is like a garter clip. First one of them I ever found. Not a good stuff. First off, when I hit that good feel, right off the bat, 1889 Indian head penny. First one I ever found. My cousin found one too. His one of them thick ones. This one of the thin ones. You didn't get a date off his yet. And I got this token. Eh, hold it up. Let me read it here. It's from the Citizens Trust Company of Utica, New York. It's a two cent token. The date is October 1st, 1919. It's World War I age. It's from the National Deposit Check Company. Deposit Check. It's pretty cool. That might be that might be worth quite a bit. And then I found this. I got real excited when I found it. I don't know if you can see that eagle on there. I got real excited because that looks like the same eagle on, a, on my George Washington inauguration button. But then I seen on the back, you can plainly see Lady Britannica, like the British coins, and then the Connecticut and Vermont, I think, or New Hampshire state coins had the same thing on the back. That's 1814. It says half penny token on there, and I looked it up on the internet. That's Canadian half token. But remember my good finds for today. I had an old pile of junk. We dug for. I think 10 hours today we hunted. We hit a couple of house sites, tried to find two or three house sites in one town and couldn't find them. And went back to Old Faithful Fields and raked it in. Okay, remember, give me one of these if you like my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.